हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस इंग्लिश क्लास दिस इज अन फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ दिस इज द फर्स्ट पोएम ऑफ योर बुक बी हाइव द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज द रोड नॉट टेकन रिटर्न बाय रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट इज डिस्कस द टाइटल ऑफ द पोएम द रोड नॉट टेकन नाउ हियर रोड मीन्स अ पाथ on which you have not walked now let us discuss about the poem the poem is relevant to our life the poet says that he was faced with the option of two paths in the woods now children this is similar to the career options you will have in your life where you will have several options in front of you and you will have to choose one out of them so we must be wise while making choices two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth so in this first stanza the poet is walking down a road and then there was a diversion there were two different paths and he had to choose one out of them here the poet says that as he was one person he could travel on one road only he had to choose one out of these two roads here yellow wood means a forest with leaves which are wearing out and they have turned yellow in color that means this is the season of autumn it represents a world which is full of people where people have been living for many years they represent people who are older than the poet the poet kept standing there and looked at the path very carefully as far as he could see it before taking the path he wanted to know how it was was it suitable for him or not he was able to see the path till from where it curved after which it was covered with trees and was hidden it happen in our life also children when we have choices we have alternatives but we have to choose only one out of them which is the best for us we take time to think about the pros and cons whether it is suitable for us or not and only then we take a decision on what path we should choose or we should move ahead now second stanza then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as for that the passing there had worn them really about the same the poet kept on looking at one path for a long time to check if it is the right path for him or not and then he decided and started walking on the other path because he felt that both the paths were equally good he says just as fair so he felt that both paths were equally good and started walking on one of them he adds that maybe he felt that the path was better for him so he chooses it as it had grass on it which means it was unused not many people had walked on this path earlier that is why this path was grassy and wanted wear means that it was not walked over by many people after he walked on the path for some distance he realizes that both the paths had been worn out the same way both the paths were similar and worn out even in a life we take any path or option but all of them have the same benefits disadvantages problems challenges and we must face them we think that we are choosing a better option 
but it is not always the correct option. And now in the third stanza, and both that morning equally lay in leaves, no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. Here, the poet says that both the paths were similar that morning. Both had leaves on them and no one had stepped on them as they were still green in colour. He decided that that day he would take one path and keep the other path for the another day. Although he knew that one way leads on to another way. He knew that he could not go back on the choice that he had made. Similarly, even in our life, once we choose an option, we must keep on moving ahead with that option and we never get a chance to come back and take the other option that we had left behind. Now children, coming back to stanza 4, I shall be telling this with a sigh, wherever ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less travelled by, and that was made all the difference. He says that in the future, he will take a deep breath and say that once upon a time, he had reached such a point in life that there were two options for him. And he travelled on that road which had been travelled upon by lesser number of people. That decision of his decided his future. Similarly, in future, when you grow up, then you will say that once upon a time, when you were young, you had two options in your life. The choices that you made, made you what you are today. This is a very strong message for all of you children, that you should be wise and careful while making choices out of the options that you have in your life because your future depends on the choice that you make today. I hope children you have enjoyed the poem and the explanation. So now what you have to do is to write down the answers of the questions given after the poem. So, good day. Have a good time.